Hi everyone, thank you very much for watching or listening. Liam Hartree here today with a quick life lesson that might help you to become a happier, healthier and more fulfilled version of yourself. As I always say, I'm not a perfect person, but I've learned some lessons from some of the greats. And I'm not just talking about fame and money. I'm talking about people who have become the best versions of themselves, um, living their best possible lifestyle, okay? And the most authentic lifestyle. Now, the power of visualization is something that's well documented. So you may have heard it before, but you won't have heard it like this. Power of visualization is something all successful people use to make their dreams come true as cheesy as that sounds that is what it's all about you know living your fulfilled life whatever that might be it might be money and it might be fame but it might be proving people wrong it might be having a happy family it might be having better physical or mental health it might be getting in touch with your spiritual side being creative whatever it is my success comes in different forms for different people but visualizing applies to all of them okay visualizing is basically vividly imagining an experience vividly imagining something that you want except it's not imagining wanting it it's imagining it like you already have it and the reason why this works is some people will know this but we have a conscious mind we have a subconscious mind as well and basically without going way off tangent into the uh, into the science of it and everything like that the subconscious mind um basically gives us our commands gives us everything that we do in our daily life our subconscious mind can actually remember everything that's happened since we've been born whether we can consciously remember it or not the subconscious mind never sleeps uh exists only in the present time um so in a sense it follows instructions only in the present tense so when you get into this with like neuro-linguistic programming self-affirmations you know all of these things are very very relevant to the subconscious mind but just what we're talking about today visualization subconscious mind if you vividly imagine it and it's more, more very important when you're visualizing to actually feel the emotion that you would get if you got that thing if you got that um, massive paycheck if you got that perfect partner whatever but it's not fantasizing because what you're doing is you're giving your subconscious mind instructions and over time those instructions will filter down into your life the old saying whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't you can't you're right either way because you're actually giving your mind instructions as to which way to go you know say you go into an exam or something and you say to yourself oh man you know i'm no good at this subject i'm not going to do well whatever you're actually giving your mind instructions that might cause you to forget certain information that you need to be less focused to be more tired because you get stressed out that tires you you're actually giving your mind instructions and you're partially creating that reality if you go in somewhere you tell yourself i'm good at this i've got this whatever it has the opposite effect the positive effect and it works okay but you can't just daydream with visualization you have to visualize and put in the work and what you find is the physical and the mental and emotional aspects the mind and body or some would say the mind body and spirit are connected okay this is very well documented if your your mind is able to to um improve your physical health and your uh, and your emotional health and your physical health is able to improve your mental health because the mind and the body are connected they both have to be they all have to be in balance and the reason this applies to visualization how it can help you I've learned this from most of the champions i've worked with you know i heard uh, floyd mayweather speaking about this tyson fury speaking about this um loads of people even on my podcast which you can check out simply inspired podcast on youtube for more inspirational content like this and inspirational interviews with the greats you know i was fascinated by what separates the best from the rest and one of the things i found was visualization is essential but you don't have to be a world-class athlete to apply it it can be applied by anyone uh big z i met you know one of the world's strongest men was the world's strongest man at one point in time won loads of competitions talked about visualization uh, i was on an interview a while back jabbar askerov eight-time world champion in kickboxing uh, and i was fascinated you know how come he's won eight world titles some people you know winning one or two is a massive achievement and one of the massive things that separates the best from the rest is visualizing it is visualization so um vividly imagining that you've already got what you want in your life but not thinking i want it thinking i've already got it now vividly imagining what you would feel as if you already had it now as if it's in the present moment 
then putting in the work, the physical, practical work to get whatever it is you want. And that's the magic of visualization. So I hope that's of some help to you. Um, we've only scratched the surface there. There's a lot more in-depth work uh, to get into. But for more information on topics like this, like I said before, Simply Inspired YouTube channel, uh, inspirational interviews, motivational content, or DM me, contact me, get in touch. I'm on social media, Liam Hartley on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Reach out, connect. I'd be happy to talk with you further about these topics. So I hope that's some help to you. And thank you so much for listening. Have a great day, wherever you're watching from around the world. Thank you.